Well, Alan, tell me about the, the type of work that you most enjoy doing. I'm a photographer. I have been uh, using cameras since I was five years old, and um, yet I was trained to be a painter and, in fact, a sculptor. And um, my photography early on was much more of a personal, um, almost a personal diary for me. However, um, I long ago stopped painting and became what I feel is, you can use the term, a lens-based artist. Alan, tell me uh, professionally at this point, what is your goal? That's a good question. Um, uh, to uh, make it another 10 years <laughs> on this <laughs> planet, maybe? <laughs> that's, that's one of my major goals. Um, you know, I don't know how to address that term professional. I do think that I am a professional artist um, and have been educated uh, to the nth degree of a Master's of Fine Arts uh, from the Art Institute of Chicago and a Bachelor of Fine Arts from Northern Illinois. Uh, I have been a professional um, university uh, instructor and uh, the director of the Evanston Arts Center. and um, so. My, my goal right now is to maintain that sense of professionalism, which means I expect a great deal out of myself. And uh, in order to manifest that, um, I'm trying more than I have in years past to get as many exhibition opportunities as I can. And um, like uh, Larry and my friend Kevin, uh, we all uh, sort of tend to um, spur, each, spur each other on to um, to, a, a, to try to get our work into galleries around the country, um, oftentimes with a thematic approach for photography. Um, I have um, an exhibition uh, at the Center for Fine Art Photography in Fort Collins, Colorado. I have another uh, work, other work right now in the um, Photo Place Gallery in Middlebury, Vermont. These came from online calls for entry. Uh, not unlike what Kava or Filter Photo does, and they are adjudicated by professional artists, uh, professional photographers, um, and that in and of itself, I think, is uh, connected to my sense of professionalism. Um, I want my work to be uh, seen as much as possible, to inspire others, to bring joy to others, but I also want my work to get the um, to get the uh, feedback from other professionals whom I admire, and that's one way of doing it. Do you find that the artistic life is lonely? Yes, I do. I do find it's lonely, and I can speak from experience. When I was a painter, I worked 24 hours a day in a studio, um, hardly ever seeing the light of day, um, uh, and, and I knew in my heart I'm a very social being. Um, I'm very outward uh, motivated um, and I found this to be very difficult which is one of the reasons that I ultimately gave up painting and grabbed my camera and a uh, video um, camera and got out in the street and I've never been happier since I've never looked back. And do you find uh, Kava helps with people and kind of maybe getting out there a little bit by more? By all means Kava helps. We are social creatures that's part of our that's part of our phylum <laughs> um, and um, I think that um, I, I, I can only tell you from the experience of seeing the joy on people's faces when we congregate um, it, it's uh, it's a wonderful social atmosphere and I know that there's a lot of individuals in uh, Kaaba and elsewhere who are lonely and feel isolated and they come out of a shell when we're together I guess if you were to talk to people maybe about the Chicago Alliance of Visual Artists, um, what would you tell folks that aren't members? Well, um, I, I have talked to many people, and um, uh, among those that I happen to um, interact with, it's because I see the wonderful work they're doing, and they don't have that many opportunities to present it, and I will ask them, when's the last time you've shown this work in public? And they, well, I, I really don't know how to do that, or I haven't really had that opportunity for a long time. And, uh, and 
my sense is that so many people work in isolation. So the first thing that I feel is that this is a community, this is a support community, this is a community that inspires other artists to do their best and to um, continue. It's really an inspirational group. Uh, and that's what I try to impart when I'm speaking to others.